नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मैथमेटिक्स क्लास ऑफ टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड ओके सो टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड मैथमेटिक्स इन दैट चैप्टर ट्रायंगल्स वी आर डीलिंग सो इन चैप्टर ट्रायंगल्स एक्सरसाइज 2.3 एंड द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वाज टू आइडेंटिफाई वेदर द टू ट्रायंगल्स वर सिमिलर एंड इफ दे आर सिमिलर बेस्ड ऑन विच क्राइटेरियन आउट ऑफ द थ्री क्राइटेरियन ए ए ए एस 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 एंड एस ए एस आउट ऑफ दीज थ्री क्राइटेरियन ऑन बाई अप्लाइंग विच इट वॉज सिमिलर दैट वॉज द क्वेश्चन इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज इन द गिवन फिगर ट्राइंगल ओ डी सी ईज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल ओ बी एयर इट द ट्राइंगल इज ओ डी सी ईज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल ओ बी ए गिवन एंगल बी ओ सी ईज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री दिस एंगल बी ओ सी ईज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री and cdo cdo is 70 degree find angle doc dco so this angle this angle and also we should find the angle oab okay so first here clearly we can say clearly we can say bod is a straight line angle bod is a straight line so therefore therefore angle doc plus angle cob angle cob is equal to 180 degree so given angle boc is 125 degree this is this angle is 125 degree therefore angle doc plus 125 degree is equal to 180 degree therefore angle doc is equal to 180 degree minus 125 degree so you have 55 degree therefore angle doc is 55 degree this angle you got as 55 degree now okay now to find the angle dco you apply for this triangle triangle dco apply angle sum property so in triangle in triangle dco by angle sum property by angle sum property what it will be angle dco plus angle cdo plus angle doc is equal to 180 degree now already doc we found doc we found cdo they have given it is 70 degree so we need to find dco now therefore angle dco plus cdo is 70 degree plus doc is 55 degree so this is 180 degree now you have angle dco is equal to 180 degree minus 125 degree the sum of those two so at the end you are getting 55 degree so dco is 55 degree this is dco and this is you have 55 degree now now triangle doc similar to triangle oab is given so therefore triangle doc similar to triangle oab is given therefore angle dco for angle dco is equal to angle oab that is equal to 55 degree no problem number 3 diagonals ac and bd of a trapezium abcd with ab parallel to cd intersect each other at the point o so diagonals ac and bd they intersect at the point o trapezium is abcd using a similarity criterion for two triangle show that oa by oc is equal to ob by od or prove that the diagonals of a trapezium divide each other in the same ratio so here we have abcd is the trapezium abcd is a trapezium ac and bd are the diagonals which intersect at o okay then 
since AB is parallel to CD, here in triangle OCD and triangle OAB, angle 4 is equal to angle 2, angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and angle DOC is equal to angle OAOB, they are vertically opposite angles. So you have three angles equal, vertically opposite angles. Therefore you can say triangle OCD is similar to triangle OCD is similar to triangle OAB. So by similarity by AAA similarity criterion. Therefore when two triangles are similar the sides are in the same ratio. So therefore OC by OA is equal to OD by OB. So OC by OA is equal to OD by OB which implies therefore OA by OC. Therefore, on taking reciprocal, we can write OA by OC is equal to OB by OD, which is which was given, hence it is proved. Now, the fourth problem. In the given figure, QR by QS is equal to QT by PR and angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Show that triangle PQS is similar to triangle TQR. Okay. So, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 in triangle QPR. Therefore, QP will be equal to PR. Let us write that. Solution. In triangle PQR. In triangle PQR. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. It is given angle 1 is equal to angle 2 therefore it is an isosceles triangle therefore QP is equal to PR therefore QP is equal to PR because isosceles isosceles triangle now in triangle TQR in triangle TQR PS is parallel to TR. PS is parallel to TR. Therefore, the ratio of the sides, therefore, therefore by BPT this is ratio of the sides QP by QT, QP by QT corollary is equal to QR by QS. This is corollary corollary of PPT. Okay. So let us here mark this as 1. If this is 1, so in place of QP I can write PR. Therefore, this is equation 2. From equation 1 and 2, from equation 1 and 2, what you can write in place of QP you can take PR by QT is equal to QR by QS QR by QR by QS here you can see QR by QS equal to QT by PR therefore which implies QT by PR is equal to QR by QS. Hence, approved.